Welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny, JD, Erin, and Kat. So, Vampire Diaries, mm -hmm. Season 3, Episode 11. It's called Our Town. Ooh. It's an absolute mess at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds quite territorial, though. Who is it saying that? Our Town. That's like. Do you know what I mean? Our house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who do we think <laughs> thinks that they own the town? Do the council think that they own the town? I think, no, um, what's his name, thinks he owns the town? Klaus. Mm. So, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And remember, over on Patreon, you can watch these as full-length reactions. Mm. And we will be really well into season four by now. Oh. You don't even know what's going on. <laughs> oh, look how smug he looks. <laughs> this is how every episode should start. Well, who showers like that? Why are you all chipping? Because he's got a naughty <laughs> secret. Have you uh, talked to Damon today? No. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, because they couldn't get one of them open. <laughs> Okay, you're okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't like that. That didn't make me jump, she did. Oh, I didn't like that. <laughs> oh. It's just the blind fell down. Yeah, but in a very spooky scene. In a very spooky scene. In a spooky scene. Bonnie was doing something as she goes to lift yeah, yeah. the coffin <laughs> lid up. The fucking door cover yeah. comes off and drops down. That was very unfortunate timing. Seriously, how classic is it that you open a coffin and something goes rah? Oh, who's that? I do like this Ooh. new way of murder. Cyber's really bringing the neighborhood down. Oh. <laughs> So we just want to keep some baby wipes with Yeah, the boss always have mm. them. Hand sanitizer. Ooh, fucking savage, man. I like that they're making time for things like this amongst sure. all the crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which leaves Elijah and two others, three sleeping originals, four coffins. So who is in the lockbox? No idea. So it's not Michael. What if they kept the mum's body? Yeah, because mum's witchy. Spirits of a bunch of dead witches that can make a coffin invisible. That they figure out how to open one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to play defense when I have what Klaus wants. He does what I say, but I dump his family to the bottom of the ocean. Oh. Oh. When we call someone's bluff, Stefan, is to be willing to lose everything if you're wrong. I really do love this Stefan, though. Of course you do. <laughs> I think I can have a better life there. That's what Elena said. It's exactly what she said. What do you mean? Nothing. Bitch. I mean, she did that on purpose. But that... Yeah, but... But that is... Yeah. She doesn't agree with it. Yeah. Mm. And I see why. I understand why you can't agree with me. Even though I'm going to put you first before anyone, I can't. Oh... I think he's come to that realisation of his life and never be his. It's never been. It was either the moon and now it's Klaus. And before that was his dad. Yeah. Get your hybrids out of Mystic Falls. Or I will remove them myself. Let's find out. <laughs> I love this. It is very is interesting okay? dynamic now. It's fine, Mindy. Stefan was just leaving after failing to make his point. <laughs> I love that sentence. Oh! Oh, Mindy! What an interesting <laughs> table to play. I'm just not really feeling my birthday this year. And now it's just a reminder that technically I'm dead. Look, I didn't even like 17. You know, the only point to 17 was to get to 18. It's a filler year. I am stuck in a filler year. You're not small, <laughs> Carolyn. Yeah, I am. You're uh, your girlfriend. Um, about her. I need you to bite her. What? What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not hurting Caroline. Alright. Alright. 
He's going to compel him. Oh. You can go now. Everyone's standing up to him. No, Caroline was right. Oh my god, are they going to have like a little funeral for her? She's dead. Sorry. But you don't need a birthday. You need a funeral. Yes. <laughs> say goodbye. Here lies Caroline Forbes. Cheerleader. Miss Mystic Falls. Third grade hopscotch champion. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> nice. okay, it's nice just that core group of friends. Yeah. And being that the emotional side. Yeah. Rather also, than danger, danger. And there's no weirdness, they're all different. We've got a witch, a vampire, and two, a human and a doppelganger. Yeah. <laughs> Walking into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> James like, no, that's my trick. Yeah. <laughs> Kissing the ass of an immortal hybrid who ruined your son's life. Oh, come now. Some might say I saved it. What with all that nasty full moon business? I never had to go through it myself more than twice, to be honest. But still, I'm very surprised. <laughs> Klaus, please, Damon, just get your brother under control or the council will be forced to take action against him. You've got to be what are the council going to do? Oh, <laughs> Good piece of chance. The council that Damon runs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one. Oh, I might have texted Tyler. Caroline. What? I'm delicate. Oh, give him a break. You can't control what everyone does all the time. Oh. <laughs> I mean. Wow. Oh, it's getting real. Sorry. I just feel it's really wrong that you can pull Jeremy and leave town. I'm doing it to protect him, Bonnie. You're taking his choices away. You can't tell him why. Are you gonna compel him not to? No. Yes. <clears throat> well, there are some parallels with mm. Klaus taking Stefan's choice. Yes. Oh, please don't tell me you're gonna drink the Klaus Kool Aid. I'm not gonna let him hold this town hostage, but I'm also not gonna let innocent people get caught in the crossfire of a pissing contest between a hybrid and a vampire. Liz, I'm impressed. You're all strong and sheriffy. <laughs> <laughs> get Stefan to stand out. I really do love those two. Well, yeah. Are you alright here? Everything's fine. Didn't look fine. Art loves to step in. Oh yes. Yeah. He's on the council, the medical examiner. Guy who signs his name under cause of death. In so many people that have to be involved to cover all of this up. Yeah. You see why they have a council? Yeah. Was he someone that was with Klaus? Daniel. Yeah. It's a hybrid. Oh! We know what you do. No dead hybrids at the Bowers party. I told you that he didn't listen. Everything, Elena, is your problem now. See, I'm not compelled by Klaus to do that anymore. Don't give me no humanity crap. You can't just flip your switch. Your switch is fried, Stefan. Just like you're how the tides have turned. Sorry, I didn't mean to crash the party. So don't. It does hurt to see him being rejected by all of his friends like that over something mm. that's not in his control. I love you. Please don't end badly. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I panicked then, but. So when he thought he was fucking close. It's almost like, was that like not his choice? That was like... No, it wasn't his choice. No, but he let him believe that it was, yeah. that he bested Klaus and the... Yeah. Making my next move. Let me ask you something. What's Klaus going to do if he can't make any more hybrids? What? Oh, gosh. Can you hear me? I'm sorry. Are you gonna lock me in some cave and keep me hostage? 
Maybe I'll just turn you into a vampire. Stop the car, Stefan! Well, then I'm gonna drive your blood source off the Wickery Bridge. I don't believe you, Stefan. Ooh! <laughs> I don't believe the brakes are that good on that car. No. <laughs> oh. oh god, how vulnerable she must and like tainted and hurt she must feel. Stay away from me. Elena, get in the car. How could you? My parents died going over this bridge. I almost died. Destroying cars is all I've left. <laughs> you had me. I lost you the minute I left town with you. Oh no. My blood will heal her. Please ask the sheriff to invite me inside. He wants something in return. Schemes within schemes, that man. Mm. Come in. Why do people keep inviting me? Just take Caroline outside. Or, or make him put some blood in a cup on the porch. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> no, blood, no, no. You don't need to come in to do this. I actually think that's the most disgusting thing he might have yes. said. Ugh. Yes, we do think On that love of you. birthday. Ugh. She would be sired by him, right? No. No? I don't want to die. Oh, wait, will she be a hybrid then? I was going to say, will she life? become a hybrid? No, that's no, not how no. hybrids work. Oh, oh it, no, no, no. Yeah, sorry. It's just healing. Yeah, okay. just heal werewolf bite. Yeah, because obviously. Like with Damon. Yeah. 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 Why do I feel like she wants to? Because she does. Mm. I do like that statement though. It's right, it's just not right now. Mm. Good night, David. You're gonna have to let me go eventually. Be safe, okay? You haven't left yet. Oh, is she gonna drop a bomb or is she gonna respect it? thing is that she wouldn't have been in the wrong. Mm. It's such a yeah. ugh situation. Mm. She's now complicit though. This is she has to now deal with that. What why does this feel icky? Because it's a slow recruit, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like love bombing or something. I feel like I've been holding on to the girl that was supposed to die here with her parents. The girl that had a normal life and then fell in love with the vampires. Vampires, plural. Here lies the way you A fun girlfriend. And an amazing friend. You should probably buy me a beer. I don't know if I trust her. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Like, that other fight was a bit too, like, a hyper mm, get on the side. The medical examiner. Oh. This was a mistake, he's not a vampire. No. This was a murder. Maybe she is a psycho. 
why call Damon? Is it just to check it wasn't him? Well, part of the council, <laughs> though, isn't it? Mm. Okay. So, where to start? Where did it start? I can't remember the beginning of the fucking episode because so smug, much has happened. Smug showering Damon. I've got to so right, right, okay. Well done. <laughs> Aaron's like, that's, that's in there. <laughs> right, yes, yes. As much as I love the showering, it was the smug face mm. of like, la, 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 like, in the background you can imagine, I'm walking on sunshine. Yeah. Whoa. It's the sort of like, I kissed her, but she kissed me back. Yeah. yeah. It's not like she was like, absolutely not, fella. He's walking around with hope. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I mean, if we take then Damon and Elena as a starting point, we didn't see that much of them together in this one. Mm. No. no. Obviously, kind of left things. Yeah. But that final scene, them on the porch, when he said... It's not. It's right. It's just not right now. Mm-hmm. It's and almost, you could tell she was saying, "Oh no, not now!" But she she was like, "Don't kiss me again." But really, that's not what she meant. I know, which is not good because we don't like saying that when girls mm. say one thing and they mean yeah. another. But like, you could tell in her eyes, you were like, "I think she meant it," but it was a. I mean it, but if you do it, I'm not going to be that. Almost mad like she's talking her. to herself as well. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Is, yeah. I I don't agree that you know she wouldn't be mad if he had. There is a difference between, like, if you put it in terms of, I might really want to eat a donut, but I know the right thing for me is not to eat a donut. Mm-hmm. So as much as I want it, I'm mm. going to say yeah. no. Mm. It's it's like that, but just in different stakes. Yeah. But it's just interesting because it was like she was saying it, obviously being faced with a temptation. And so you could tell that although she was, and she was right mm. to say no you knew that actually there was interest there. Whereas yeah. before, I don't think there's been that level of interest from her. I don't think she tried to mask that, mm. but she's clearly drawing a boundary, and I think rightly so, especially with how traumatic the her last interaction with Stefan, mm. and probably the longest interaction she's had with him for a while. Yeah. Which is was. why I think... Damon's making that point of it's right as in we both want this but he also understands that Mm. right now is not the time which I think is why he's not pushing that relationship to be like well we've kissed now we could kiss again and what does this mean for us and that's why he's like (laughs) like a 12 year old (laughs) yeah he's he's a bit more just I know I like you I know you like me Mm. we'll leave it there for now until we're in a position to explore that he wants mm. to be a choice, mm. not yeah. a mm. consequence of someone else's actions. Yeah. He's, he's probably also quite happy to stay in this status right now of living with the possibility that sh- it might go in that direction rather than rushing to get the answer and the answer may turn out to not be what he wants. But living in the hope of those little butterflies is more than he's had in a long time. So he's probably happy yeah. to stay in that status for a long time, which is why he's not rushing to an answer and as like klaus said you reframe your vision on time and milestones yeah. mm. when you live for have many years so obviously elena being human it's like different but for him mm. waiting isn't really but we have seen him be pushy before when maybe he's not been in a great emotional place mm. he's been pushy with her on trying to kiss her or being wanting her to confirm Excuse some feelings mm. so. so I mean it's it's different to see him being okay to be patient but it's dare I say maybe slightly self-serving for him but he's happy to stay in the current status quo because the current status quo for him <laughs> leaves him thinking of walking on sunshine yeah. and being smug in the shower so it's not a, it's, yeah. it's in his favour so it's not bad um mm. do you want to talk about Stefan in this episode he was uh, he was busy pretty pretty savage pretty ruthless do we believe what he said, like, at the car? Do we, do we believe that there's nothing there for Elena? I believe that he knows, as well, in his current state, mm. that he isn't there. Deep down, I think he recognises that there was something for that previous version of Stefan. But like he said, it took him how long of a period of time 
to get back mm. or get to whatever the, the version Stephanie had before. And I think he recognises that. He's not that person. He's not the Klaus version where he's got no humanity or anything, but he's not that other guy. With Stefan, he often talks about having to let the pain back in when you let emotion back in. Mm. And it's like he's so focused on Klaus and his anger because otherwise he's going to have to confront the pain of... Yeah. Like, he feels like he's lost Elena. Yeah. He said, I lost you when I left town. So having to face that and deal with the emotion behind that, it's like, I can't, so I just have to be... Keep himself nothing. busy. Yeah. yeah. To, to opening up to love her again, mm. everything else. Yeah. And yeah. you can... Yeah. You can know that, but that doesn't mean that you can feel and act on it. It'd also be interesting, because if he doesn't necessarily... If he maybe lets that in, and obviously you said he face it, he wouldn't like the version of himself that he was. So there's almost a self-detrimental part of it of that maybe he doesn't feel that he's either worthy or even lovable because he doesn't like himself. I would like to see Stefan go on a journey... Because I know Elena loved that first version that she met of him. I I didn't. Yeah. I think the Stefan that left was actually the one that was probably most in love with her. Mm. But I would be really interested to see if Stefan can get to a new, different place and sort of be a version of both. So not so tortured, mm. but, you know, not on the edge collateral damage is fine kind Hot of guy Stephen, you mean I just he wasn't living before yeah and he isn't living right now I think he's got a chance to create like a, a better version of himself which yeah. is more authentic it's going to be a long I think he knows though when he left he left it open for her and Damon because I think he deep Mm. down I think he knows there's something there so I think part of him saying I lost you when I left isn't is I lost you to Damon not I just like Mm. you've gone off me and you've gone on on with your life I think it's I've left you with Damon for that period of time and that's Mm. Mm. where you've gone interesting Mm. but then I think Knowing he was supposed to have been gone for 10 years. Yeah. There's a part of him in doing that that knows he's letting Elena go because you can't expect her to wait no. 10 years. Mm, and he she would have moved on, yeah. 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 So in a way, some of that, I lost you the day I left, is because in his head he had made the decision. Yeah. Yeah. That that was over. Mm. I really... All that being said, you know, how reckless he's being... He feels like he is in a good position, clearly, to have mm. made that stand against Klaus, and it really is a fight fire with fire. Mm. Yeah. He's got nothing to lose. Like it's in a way a bit of an insurance policy by him not opening up fully to her again. That would be. Do you remember how he said, "If I find his weak spot, I can beat him." If he doesn't allow himself to have that weak spot of Elena anymore, then he's got nothing to lose. His weak spot is Damon, though. Yeah, like, yeah, which which, which what I, we said that's which the real so, love of this series. Is, yeah, I, which yeah. I love, but but also he knows that Elena can in a way be his weak spot because Klaus isn't going to kill her. Yeah, so in mm. a way she is safe. True, and he always knows that Damon's got Elena covered. Like yeah, mm. so he kind of is operating in a there really isn't too much to lose, but yeah to. To have Klaus prove his, or like to really mm. show his hand of what mm. is important to him, he has had to, like I said, just be the better villain. Yeah. Mm. It's very morally grey logic, oh. but again, in that situation, it's a choice that someone had to take. Yeah, it's yeah. a very high stakes poker game, isn't it? Who's yeah. going to call the bluff? But it's interesting because now, so from that, can we surmise that, which obviously was, that's what we knew, that's what we wanted anyway, but Klaus does want to make more hybrids. 
even though he's saying to the council, we'll give you protection, we're not going to do anything. Blah, blah. Clearly, he's planning to make more hybrids anyway. He, because he, he didn't want to take away that possibility. Yeah. Is it making hybrids? Or is it ensuring that he's not alone and that he well, has a family? Yeah. That potato, potato. Yeah. For him, he, yeah. he could probably not d- differentiate the two. He will be like, no, no, I'm doing this, but like, you know, it's, it's right, it's the right Who thing to do. I'm making a superior army race. Who will do whatever you say? Exactly. I also think as well, when she said, you know, you knew this is where my parents died, mm. you knew this is where Anthony died. A choice then by Stefan to definitely keep Elena mm. at bay because yeah. by doing he's a shitty like, thing. He's like, I've stepped you to such a point mm. that it's not even just that I've gambled with your life, yeah. but I've gambled with your life in a very emotionally sensitive... Personal way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that you probably can't forgive me, and then that does afford him the protection to not have to deal Although, with... Although, self-fulfilling. I will say cool. that she can't forgive him. She forgave Damon for killing Jeremy. So if you're Stefan, you should be thinking she could forgive this because <laughs> yes, but that was some, him doing it to someone else, not doing it to her. I would find it easier to forgive someone oh. who's done something to me than someone I cared about. Also, also it, also it got undone. It it was undone. You... Is it harder to forgive something that obviously couldn't have been undone? I don't know. I think that that act will be harder for Elena to forgive because. It has that intimate knowledge. Yeah, she had more trust in Stefan to start with yeah, than because Damon. When the what happened with Damon and Jeremy and what happened just then with her and Stefan, the the way she felt about each individual person at the time is so yeah. very different. Like it was a different kind of betrayal, wasn't it? So much more close to home than betraying that trust from Stefan on that with the bridge, as you're saying, was almost so much worse. Because she didn't ever expect Stefan to do that. Whereas with Damon, maybe it was almost not as much of a disappointment because she, at that point, she thought he was a dick anyway. They've so like taken yeah. your trust in them by sharing mm. and they've used it against mm. you. Yeah. And that's danced all over your trauma. Yeah. They've, you're always hurt more by the people that you yeah. love the most yeah. and he has used that. And not only that, Obviously, the Wickery Bridge thing is terrible, but she, he was the one that she opened up to about not wanting to be a vampire. Yeah, it's a really good point. Mm-hmm. So to put that threat there, these yeah. both these things that I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's interesting though because she did say to him, didn't she? Is that what you're trying to do? You're trying to make me hate you? Mm-hmm. So many layers in there. Mm. Um, layers of plans but I am really just enjoying his and Klaus's back and forth of course you are and when Klaus said to him that he'd hoped that once he took the compulsion away they could just go back to he just wants his friend <laughs> yeah he wants again he's also someone that wants to be chosen he just goes mm. about it in so the wrong way like if I compel you to be my friend that's cool man but like, that's really interesting. You to do it. But they were then, originally friends back in the 20s, yeah. so and he wants, wants that back, but, but he But can't. then he's like, isn't that really I thought naive, once though? I dropped the compulsion, you'd be my friend. You, but you've been compelling me to be your friend, <laughs> so no, I'm not going to do that, because... Yeah. It's really naive of like, him. I don't understand yeah. what he doesn't see. Well, it's I thought almost... I, it's like doing something really... Like, it's like doing something really mean to your friend, going, well, I thought if I said, said sorry, that would be okay. Like, yeah. well, no, sometimes It's almost like someone okay. that doesn't have those social skills... Eat, like it's not in them so it's all it's do you know what I mean I'm... well if you're Klaus and you've daggered your siblings and that all this time mm. and it's always been well they come around eventually yeah mm. I just leave them in that yeah. box for a while and then Rebecca like, I've daggered her and undaggered her and Elijah and they, they come around mm. eventually yeah. <laughs> but as well because the issue with why Stefan obviously wasn't friends with him before because Stefan you know got all this humanity well through the compulsion he took the humanity away so maybe in Klaus's eyes, he's like, I've taken away the thing that made him not be my friend, mm. so now he's free to be my friend and he'll understand that I, all that process was to remind him how much better he was. And but the thing was, buddies. in the 20s, Stefan had his humanity. Mm. It's just that on blood, that's who he was. Yeah. yeah. And then we had the storyline of 
Caroline. And her Caroline. funeral. There was a lot of that. There seemed to be that theme. Although the the, the, the episode was called, was it Our Town? Yeah. The theme seemed to be that rebirth or reincarnation or the, 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 moving, the on. moving on of Letting chapters. Go. and what, Yeah. So Elena on the bridge and, you know, they all did that little funeral ceremony throwing the flowers in. And the same for Caroline, where they said it started as a birthday, moved to a funeral. And even possibly with Stefan and that conversation with Stefan and Elena, it's like, okay, this is now not there anymore. Let's move on because this is yeah. the situation. So Caroline was the main story that fleshed out that actual act of moving on from a funeral. But it seemed like a lot of that was happening. And the fact it was called Our Town, you had that core group of original human friends that growing up together. Together, mm. We don't often get scenes of just them without anybody else being around. That's true. And poor Matt being there, like, yeah, we're kind of stuck in this craziness. <laughs> poor Matt. So it's interesting, just to go back to Elena, though, I wonder what's going to happen now for both Elena and Matt, where they had that conversation. They were like, no, we're, we, and he said, like, we don't have to be stuck. You know, or yeah. she did, sorry, but that conversation. It'd be interesting to see what does that mean for them. It was almost like they were, or she was giving herself, when he helped with giving permission to not be bound by who you think you're supposed to be or who you were, what's going to happen now? So that was quite interesting. I think it was her holding on to the life that she'd planned to have. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And who she was then. Yeah. But I'm actually, intrigued to see what does that mean? Where does she She's belong? changed a lot. Her whole world has changed. It's. Mm. Do you think as well it's because sometimes when like a tragedy happens to like young kids, that becomes their like whole identity? Mm. That I've got no parents and I nearly mm. died. And, and you, you just... Like, it's almost like she recognised that actually that doesn't have to be my identity and I can yeah. move on yeah. from that. Because yeah. you've stayed in the same town, like the whole town. It's like, oh, look, you know, the little Gilbert kid. Mm. I feel like, like forever. I feel she needed not permission, but the, the, the thought, or the agreement from someone that without any other angle towards the situation the, the human perspective that knew her mm. for so long so close to before all of this to tell her that it was okay to help her yeah settle that and mm. forget actually how bonded the two of them were yeah and it's quite nice that maybe they're coming background to a place where they can just be that grounding and support for each other. Well, I like the fact that he said fun girlfriend but amazing friend. Mm, mm. Almost as though that was fun in the past but we've come to a point that's so much better mm. for yeah. us. Mm. So Caroline had her funeral um, so. and then actually nearly died. <laughs> drunk text Tyler. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I felt, I obviously you feel bad for Caroline, but I also felt really bad for Tyler. Yeah. Yeah, he, he didn't thought he to do that. Yeah. He thought he could beat he it. He thought he'd won. And so Wake was just like, oh, yeah, okay, knowing. It's interesting, <laughs> though, isn't it? Because earlier on he said, Caroline had said to him, what are you doing about this? And he was like, oh, yeah. I can't do anything. And then when he thought he'd done it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, I take it all back, I can. I can do it, I can do it for you. And then it was like, no, you can't. Yeah. Mm. How scary, though, the other times he's had a bit of awareness yeah. about it. But no, it yeah. runs so deep that subconsciously yeah, no he's mm. still going to do it. So uh, aren't you just looking at yourself like you're a bomb? But he looked scared yeah. in yeah. that moment, didn't yeah. he? Like, what he had at, done. Any, at any point, he like he's had it's just awful for him he mm. is a walking weapon that he doesn't he doesn't own himself yeah, he's, and because he's of traded that, one for the other he's now ostracized by his friends because mm. he's dangerous to them mm. yeah. all he can do i think is get out of town and leave his life behind before klaus can mm. Can he actually? Can he leave his sire, or is it just if the sire kind of gives him a command? Like, as long as he's far enough away, does Klaus mm. still have reach of him? And 
Klaus then used that to have the sheriff on the side. When you and and all, like when when he was talking to Carolina, you said, "I think that's the most disgusting thing you've said." I just thinking back, and I was like, "You really fancied him in the beginning," and now you're like, "I fucking hate you." So this is a mis- like yes, because of as a powerful villain coming in, mm-hmm. but like you you do because of the way that people come in, mm. but actually yes i i really pity and i really feel very sad for klaus Mm. you know even when he said like you could see he doesn't want to be upset but he was upset by the fact that one of his hybrids heads got chopped off and it's holding people at at a distance Mm. you know so you can feel more towards it before but actually i think that taunting like not on your birthday that to me like mm. if you're you are I don't think he was taunting I think he was surprised when he's like on your birthday you think that low of me but it, that's it no, but it's that's... hard to tell with no. him because we don't have any trust there and neither does Caroline I disagree he is she is vulnerable if he really cared that much he just straight in with the blood but no on your birthday that is mm. n- manipulating I'm... he is building an angle as we can see then with with the gift but just no that 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 to me was not a genuine sentiment at all that was mm. mocking no i think he Ugh. was a bit that that people really think that lowly of him and it's like but why wouldn't they what but, have you done to make if, people if not if he doesn't if he's not aware then again is he that much of a mm. narcissist because he's oblivious which makes me think he's stupid and and fully narcissistic versus vindictive so i'm not i'm not sure which one i believe i could see it either way but that like you're saying what it's either vindictive or narcissistic that he completely doesn't think or can't understand how people could see him that way either way but it's not good whichever way it's not good still i stand by it i think the most disgusting thing i think he said because whether purposeful or like yeah like you said either purposefully doing it or so oblivious to his actions yeah it was gross, yeah. Biggest ick from Carlos. Yeah, yeah, wishing that whole thing. Happy, wishing me, wishing Caroline happy birthday. It's like when she opened the bracelet, I was like, I don't like it. It's no. icky. Like, and because the way the bracelet was as well, it was almost like an infinity. Like, yes. we can live together. But like, mm. I think part of the point with that as well was that it was probably real diamonds and it was uh, very expensive. Mm. Don't also I would be furious if he takes my girl. Something I was thinking, watching that scene back... Is he fiddles with the bracelet that Tyler got her? Yeah. Oh, it's one up. Her her yeah, it's one up. I can like this is a cheap you. one. I can give you a. I can give you better. I doubt it was cheap because you know Tyler what? also comes from. Some yeah, that's money, true. But... That's true. Do you know what he did? Like the the gaslighting lad, and I can show you the world. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's coming from money, and there's yeah. being a vampire for thousands of years, and having infinite money at your disposal. But yeah. why would you need infinite money when you can compel anything you want? Well, I mean, there is that, no. but they all seem to because have they still because, live in a world that requires money. Because they said, didn't they, like Damon's rich? Yeah. Like he also, they also have loads of money because yeah. they're obviously been. I've been working for hundreds of years. Yeah, but it's, but now that, they obviously don't have. I mean, they're obviously doing whatever they're doing and getting money because they're fucking immortal. Like mm. they bought a house. 200 years ago they probably made quite a lot of money that's what i don't understand is why would they need money because you could just walk into the shop and be like i'm gonna have this well they also (laughs) wish to fly under the radar so it makes sense and also reputation and the circles that they might want to travel in of the impression of having old money you know family money so it's a different it's a different look i know what you mean but they can't also do that in front of other people if they're around other people unless they can always compelling the whole room everyone yeah, but I should never be. They obviously don't. No, this is why you shouldn't be a vampire. And so Alaric has a new friend. I'm not Dr. sure. I like, I'm not sure I like this friend. I don't know if I like the friend. However, if she turns out to be, I say this in a very weird sentence, a run of the mill serial killery like psycho human, that would be a really fun. It's like when you watch all these zombie shows and the real villain is the human. Like, to me, I'm like, that's the a fun vampires and the hybrids and the werewolves be like, who's killing this person in the wood? And then she's in the corner. Like, it was me. Exactly. Like, it just, it brings in like a, let's And they're all pointing forget. at each other and the meanwhile, she's in the back being like, you're all losers. I do love the fact that they're all like, 
there's been an actual murder. We don't know how to do <laughs> Because her being on the council and obviously she's shown that she knows about vampires, that is the perfect cover. She's literally like, yeah, I'm just going to stab my ex and then be like, oh, let's blame the vampires. And meanwhile, she's a fucking psycho. That would be a sexual But they all know, but I just like the fact they're like, well, there's been an actual murder. Like, what do we do about that? Because we're so used to just covering <laughs> yeah. them up. Oh, no, how do we do our, our job? Death certificate so it's an animal attack and now we've got to do something about it. Whereas the fact we've that, that he just was... Detective detective actually been murdered. Because he was staked. Yeah. That's what makes it... It's a statement. Uh, mm, a mm. statement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A statement, yeah. But it's taken... up. So it you can see why it's going to cause them problems because someone knows enough to do that. Yeah. It's not going to be any of the supernatural parties, probably, that they are used to having difficulties Yeah, because they don't stake humans. And, mm. like you said... It now it's destabilizing the council potentially because if you take away, mm. they need to fill someone into that mm. signing off position because otherwise, things are going to go funny. So do you know what? I maybe I do like her. I'll be interested if she or someone mm. is working just to completely corrupt the council. Oh my god, what if it's Alaric? I was going to say, what if <laughs> actually it's framing Alaric because where he came over and did that hero moment. That was quite public. So mm. what if she's doing that to frame Alaric because she wants to remove him from the council? I don't know. There's too many possibilities. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> okay. So that was Are we not going to talk about them sending Jeremy away? Oh, yeah. But we did. Why do we feel mm. we talked about that a lot last time? I think time. it's Bonnie's... I, I am not a Bonnie comment. fan. I don't like her reaction to that because I think... Whether you agree with someone's free choice or not at this point... Like, someone tried to kill him by compelling him to walk in front of a car. Getting him away is the safest thing for him. Now, whether or not he thinks it's his idea, they're not saying he has to go forever. They just want the situation under control to protect him. So I can see where they're coming from. Mm. Super sorry. And I don't yeah. like the fact that Bonnie then tried to, like, give him a hint that it wasn't his I don't his think choice. she tried to give mm. him a hint. No, I, I think, think she, she was... I don't... Oh, that's I don't. funny. That's exactly what Elena said. But that could... you were told that she compelled him... So you no, know, I think that was just her being like, "Yep, mm. you, that's not a line from you. It's just mm. a reminder that you don't; those aren't your words. You yeah. don't necessarily believe what you're saying." And I completely agree with the logic of sending him away, but now Bonnie being aware, it makes her complicit in it. Whereas she she maybe wouldn't have wanted to. Mm. Yeah, I I agree with, you know, would I do it any differently if I was trying to protect someone I love? Probably not. But Elena is always making points about respect my choice, respect my decision. I was going to say, it's interesting in the hypocrisy, isn't it? Stefan was compelled, had his choice taken away. Mm. You know, it's... Yeah. So it is. It's, it's all very great. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And also, I don't know, and not that it makes it any better, but obviously maybe just more understanding there of, um, for Bonnie, was she fully aware to the extent that Alaric and Elena were of how Jeremy was giving up school and basically saying, well, what's the point of that? Because this is my life now. I'm going to go headfirst into this. Do you know what I mean? As in, he was quite... I would say self-destructive, but it wasn't. It was logical in his brain because he was like, well, this is my life now. He so was resigned is... to it. Yeah, what's the point of school? Yeah. So I don't know if Bonnie could see that spiralling that was that was happening to Jeremy or not. Because obviously they weren't talking yeah. at the time because they'd broken up. So I yeah. don't know. Yeah. And also, the others will have had some time to have processed and thought about it. Yeah. For Bonnie, she's literally finding out, being told... If you want to say goodbye, go and say goodbye now. Yeah. And then you know there there hasn't been a thinking it through process of time, which then I think when she does turn up to say goodbye or turn up to either say something or not, she has had that process in time and mm. she then does make her I also decision. think that you need to look at how they view Jeremy. Elena, so Stefan probably not in this one, but Damon, Alaric, he's a little brother, a son mm. to protect He's not that for Bonnie. No, I was thinking He was that. a boyfriend. She teamed up with him in mm. several of the plans. He was strong. He was there for her. She also has she to give up on life. the fact that, it, are they really over? 
because that's actually mm. more final. Him moving away. Okay, it's good. He's not dying. True, but by him moving away, it's removing any possibility of them reconciling mm. and going back to their. But relationship. I just think, like, like I said, they view Jeremy as someone they need to protect. The brother, the son. Yeah. She doesn't view him that way. He's not that to her. Mm. So she views him as a, you know, a strong, a man. A, yeah. You know, a also partner, some an someone that she risked a lot to bring back to life. He wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. And then now she's like, well, you're just taking him away from me. Not that he's hers as in an object or anything, but she risked a lot to bring him back. And then now she's like, what? So, yeah. Yeah. She probably right. feels like she should have, like, yeah, she, she has a right to, if you speak to him about it or whatever. But, yeah. That's what's so good is sucks. that there are no, I don't think, clear cut, good, bad, right, no. wrong. Yeah. It's just lots of Everybody's... different shades of grey perspective view will be different based on life experience mm. yeah which is more in line with reality yeah you know everyone has their version of, of what that means for them and i also think i do like in this show that having whether you know say bonnie as an example whether i always agree with her or not having those other voices makes it more gray so mm. if you're watching it you might be thinking well i don't really agree with that but everybody else does am i in the wrong because i don't mm you know agree with that whereas mm. actually having those different voices means that you can watch it with a actually mm. i feel this way i'm mm -hmm. with this person that person yeah. doesn't and it irritates yeah. the shit out of me if i watch a series and everything just nicely wraps up in a ribbon and there's only one clear train of thought that's not realistic i actually this is a better reflection of the true messiness of reality that there isn't one clear line of thinking mm. and it allows other people to actually have to be held accountable or to question their own actions because then you do see Elena say albeit drunk later to mm. Matt acknowledging that you know Bonnie's right I don't yeah. have the mm. I've made the decision but I don't truly believe that I maybe had the right to do that and that's um, growth in the characters as well which and also when Bonnie effective. made that comment you don't get to decide what everyone does all the time is there a bit of recognition that everything revolves around what Elena says mm. within the group. Mm. It's a hierarchy. Yeah, and even though Bonnie loves Elena and wants to protect Elena, why does Elena always get to make decisions for everybody else? Mm. Yeah. I loved it when that happened, though, when she said that. <laughs> yeah. I was really like, oh, bitchy. <laughs> it was, but it was true. And I, I think she didn't mean it to no. come out sound as bitchy as it did, but she, she was right mean, to We say know it. that she loves Elena mm. and she wants great things for Elena, but... Within the group, you know, maybe someone does need to raise the issue. Is why does she get to make decisions for everybody? Yeah, no, she shouldn't. You're a friendship group. You're all yeah. even. Like, yeah. You even... say that, but don't forget, Bonnie does it. Bonnie's done it before. Yeah. So it's all right when she does it, but it's not all right when Elena does it. I like that she took herself off away from the situation. Though, yeah. Because, you know, it then didn't escalate. Yeah. And she yeah. Just went, Do you know what? Like. Oh. This, what I said was right, just probably my mm. delivery. I've made my point there. Was a bit tequila -y. But also, she's probably walking away so that she can go and actually digest and see how I feel about this so that then she can come back the next day to say goodbye or yeah. she needed space to come to a conclusion for herself. Yeah. Because she realised, I think, she already knew, but she realised it doesn't sit well with me and it's obviously going to come out and so it's going to come out in a really passive-aggressive bitchy way so I need to step away and just process yeah okay oh interesting so that was our reaction to the vampire diary season three episode 11 our town thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one bye, bye.